Let's have some fun, shall we? How to combine resistors. So we're gonna do a huge, super, super huge circuit of series and parallel resistors just to show you that it's not that awful. I wanna play. Sweet, make, make a circuit. And then we'll do that one next. Okay, so for simplicity's sake, let's assume that all of these resistors are five ohms so that we can combine them together. All right, so first things first is you wanna look for combinations of two dudes that you know for a fact are in series or in parallel with each other. Example, these guys right here. If I start on this side and current starts traveling through, it has no choice but to go through both of them. So these two guys are in series with each other. So when things are in series with each other, for resistors, you just add them together to get an equivalent resistance. So let's do that. This dude and this dude are in series. So their equivalent resistor is as if there was just one dude there with the sum of their parts, 10 ohms. This dude, this dude, and this dude are also in series because current has no choice but to go through all three of them. So five plus five plus five is gonna be 15. So that's the same as if there was one resistor there with 15 ohms. These two dudes, again, are in series because current has no choice but to go through both of those if it's going through that branch. So five plus five is 10 ohms. Okay. So now let's look for some more series combos. These two guys. If I start here as current and I go boop, boop, current has no choice but to go through both of these. They're all in the straight line. So five plus five is 10. Now you might look at these guys and be like, oh, they're totally in series. But don't be fooled. There's an extra path here. Current does have a choice. So these two are not in series. All right, let's see if there's more series dudes. Uh, oh, look, this guy and this guy, current has no choice but to go through both. So five and 10. 10 ohms. Same with this guy, this guy, and this guy. There's no path in between them. So five and 10. All right, anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so now let's start tackling our parallels. So parallels add up like the reciprocals. So the equivalent resistance is the sum of the reciprocals, reciprocal, like that. Oh man. So let's say these two, these two dudes are in parallel. We can totally confirm that because they are connected by the same wire here and the same wire here. If I was going to draw colors on there, which I'm not because I want to be able to erase things, this would be, let's say, red, and this would be pink. Yeah. So these two dudes are in parallel. Their equivalent resistance, 1 over 5 ohms plus 1 over 5 ohms is 2 over 5 ohms. So if we flippy flop that, then we get five halves ohms or 2.5 ohms. So these two dudes in parallel combine to give me one resistor with 2.5 ohms. So smoosh, 2.5 ohms. Now if we look up here, 
These dudes are also combined or connected by the same blobs of wire on each side. So they are also in parallel. They also have resistances of five. So these two go smoosh into an equivalent resistor with 2.5 ohms. These two dudes, they got the same voltage on each side. You can draw a line between the two on each side, five and five. So these two go smoosh. to 2.5 ohms. All right. So now, these two dudes are totally in parallel. So if we look, we can draw a line. You can follow the wire from one to the other on both sides. So they're in parallel. But they've got 10, so we need to figure out their resistance. So their equivalent resistance is 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 10 ohms is 2 over 10 ohms. So flippy floppy, our equivalent resistance is 10 over 2, which is 5. So these two guys go smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. to have a resistance of 5 ohms. Now I have this big blob here. All four of these dudes can be connected by drawing a line to each of them on one side and you can get to all four of them from the other side as well. So all four of these guys are in parallel. So their equivalent resistance is 1 over 15 for my first guy, 1 over 10 for my second guy, 1 over 5 for my third guy, and 1 over 10 for my fourth guy. Alright, so quickest common denominator I can see is 150 because I'm lazy. Alright, so that's going to be 10 minus 15 5 into 150 is 1530 and 15 yeah, yeah. okay so 10 plus 15 is 25 plus 30 is 35 45 55 60 70 over 150. So my equivalent resistor is 150 over 70, which is 15 over 7, which is 2.14. So a nice check for things in parallel. Your equivalent resistance, so putting things in parallel decreases the resistance. Putting things in series increases the resistance. So when you combine a bunch of stuff in parallel, your answer should be less than all of those. So my smallest resistor here is 5. My equivalent resistance is 2.14. Sweet. All right, so now I can take these four dudes and go smush. This is going to make our circuit look so much nicer. So those four dudes combined into one happy little resistor with 2.14 ohms of resistance. This is looking nicer and nicer every single day. Okay, so now we have a bunch of crap in series again. So this one and this one are totally in series. By combining these two, I got rid of that extra choice. So now my current has to go through both of these dudes. So 5 and 2.5 gives me one nice happy resistor with 7.5 ohms of resistance. So now I have, for my
for this entire chunk here, wow, oh, all the way around. So I've got five, 7.5, 9 9.64, 14.64, oh geez, now I'm running out of space. All right, five plus 2.5, plus 2.14, plus 5, plus 2.5, plus 5. So all of these dudes are now in series because all my current has to go through here. So now I have one nice, big, happy, family. So wire, 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 wire. I'm going to put you here. Wire, 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 wire. So all those dudes in series combined to 22.14 ohms. All right. So now this dude and this dude can be combined in parallel because I can get to both sides. So I've got 10 and 7.5. So their equivalent resistance is 1 over 10 plus 1 over 7.5. I was going to punch that into the calculator because I have no idea what the common denominator there is. Oh, I guess it's 75. Sure. Okay. All right. So 1 over 10 plus 1 over 7.5 is 0 0.23333. So then 1 over that is 4.286 ohms. All right. So again, double check, smaller than both of my guys. So these two dudes can go smush. Until one resistor with 4.286 ohms. Now if I look at these two dudes, they look a little funky, but if I draw lines to both sides of my guys, I can get to them super easily. So they're also in parallel. So this is a 5 and this is a 5. My 5's in parallel gave me a resistance of 2.5. So now these two dudes go smoosh. To have 2.5 ohms. So now I just have three guys left. This one, this one, and this one. And only one path. So I go whoop, have to go through here, have to go through here, have to go through here, and get back to where I started. So these dudes are all in series. So there's my 4.286 plus 2.5 plus 22.14 plus 5.5 plus 22.14. Cause splat, the equivalent resistance of this entire thing is 28.9. Two five and two six ohms. So now I go smush, smush, smush. This behaves as one giant circuit or one circuit with one resistor that has a value of twenty eight point nine two six ohms. Ta-da! So even though it looks super big and scary, it's actually not that bad if you just take it one piece at a time.